In this video, let us look into the properties of a cyclic quadrilateral. The first property states that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Two angles are said to be supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees, just recalling it for you. So here we have a cyclic quadrilateral. So here it is. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now it says that the first property says that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. The opposite angles here are angle A and angle C and angle B and angle C. So if you add the red angles, that is angle B and angle D, which are opposite to each other, they will add up to 180 degrees. And if you add the black angles, that is angle A and angle C, they will add up to another 180 degrees. So this is called as supplementary. You can clearly see from the figure that the opposite angles are supplementary to each other. So that's what the first property states. So here we have the second property. The second property is kind of a reverse way of the first property. The second property says that if the sum of any pair of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is 180 degrees, then that quadrilateral is cyclic. It just means that in this figure or in the first point we saw that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. But in the second property, it says that if the angles, if the opposite angles add up to 180 degrees, if any pair of opposite angles, there are just two pairs in here, but if the any, if the sum of any pair of the opposite angles of a quadrilateral is 180 degrees, then that given quadrilateral is cyclic. So it's just a reverse way of saying the first property. Let's go to the third one. The third property states that if one side of a cyclic quadrilateral is produced, then the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. Let's check this out with the help of a diagram. So here we have a cyclic quadrilateral, ABCD. It says that if one side of a cyclic quadrilateral is produced, let's produce the side AB. So here it is. Then the exterior angle, which is the exterior angle here. Let us name this E. So the exterior angle would be CBE. So this one, the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. So the interior opposite angle, the interior of this angle is this one. So the opposite angle to this one is this one. So therefore, angle CBE is equal to angle ADE. Or the exterior angle B equals to the interior angle D. So this is another property of a cyclic quadrilateral. Let us look into another one now. The fourth property states that or says that the quadrilateral formed by angle bisectors of a cyclic quadrilateral is also cyclic. Now let us again check this out, check this property out with the help of a figure. So here we have another cyclic quadrilateral ABCD. Now let's bisect each one of the angles of this cyclic quadrilateral. Now this is just an approximate bisection, so please use the proper tools to bisect this angle very precisely. So this is just an illustration. So now as a result of bisecting all the four angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, now we have a quadrilateral in the middle if you can see these four sides. Now this formed quadrilateral is also cyclic is what this property says. So this is one of the many properties of the cyclic quadrilateral. Now let us look into the next property of a cyclic quadrilateral. So here in the fifth property, we are talking about a cyclic trapezium. A trapezium is nothing but it's just one of the many kinds of quadrilaterals. So we are talking about a cyclic trapezium, here, which is nothing but it still is a cyclic quadrilateral, but then it also has certain conditions. So it's called a cyclic trapezium. So let us check this property out with the help of a figure. So we have another cyclic quadrilateral. It is also called as a cyclic trapezium. Here, you can see this. Now what the property says is, it says that a cyclic trapezium is isosceles. Well, isosceles means its two sides are equal. Isosceles triangle, if you recall, it means two sides are equal. So here, isosceles trapezium, two sides are equal. Which sides? AD and CB are equal. And as it is, a trapezium is a quadrilateral in which one of its uh, pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. So those parallel sides are AB and CD. So if you can see here, this side is parallel. Is DC is parallel to AB, but AD and CB are not. 
but in this case they both are equal so this is called as cyclic trapezium which is got two of its sides equal so therefore a cyclic trapezium is isosceles and it also says that its diagonals are equal ac is equal to bd let us now look into the next property well we've got the sixth property here it says that if two opposite sides of a cyclic quadrilateral are equal then the other two sides are parallel to each other well this property if you can notice carefully it's just um, an extension of the previous property or rather a reversal of the previous property that we studied which was about the cyclic trapezium this property says that let's first check this property out with the help of a figure here is a cyclic quadrilateral if you can see it clearly shows that ad and cb are equal now if you have a condition like this if two sides in a cyclic quadrilateral are equal then the other pair of sides that is ab and dc are parallel to each other so this is one of the many properties of a cyclic quadrilateral let us look into the next one now so here we have the seventh property the sum of the angles in the four segments exterior to a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to six right angles so let us check this property out with the help of a figure so here is a cyclic quadrilateral so here is a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d now we are talking about angles in the four segments exterior to a cyclic quadrilateral now which are those angles here are those angles p q r and s so these are the angles in the four segments exterior to a cyclic quadrilateral first of all the four segments of the cyclic quadrilateral are of course its sides that is a b b c c d and d a or a d now the angles in the four segments so the angles corresponding to the four segments here one is p one is q one is r and one is s the sum of all these four angles equals to six right angles so what does it say it says that angle p plus angle q plus angle r plus angle s equal to six right angles that is nothing but six into 90 degrees which is a 540 degrees nine times six is 54 and we've got 90 into 6 so it is 540 degrees now this six right angles is equal to the sum of angle p angle q angle r and angle s so this video ends here with all its properties, all the properties of a cyclic quadrilateral discussed. Now, in the forthcoming videos, let us solve problems based on all these properties of cyclic quadrilateral that we've discussed in this video.